All right, we have gone up the road a little bit off of Shea Road, and this is called Madden Road. And supposedly, this rocky trail here was the Bay Path. I have no idea what's up here. Looks like there's an old trailer or something, so I don't even know if this is it, but reading the um, information I got from the website, it should be. It's not posted. In fact, there's a sign down there that says that it's the uh, same wildlife area I was in before. So, let's see where it takes us. Now, yep, we've gotten over that stream now where we were. I think we would have come up here. I was just following the, the field quite a ways uh, until I finally crossed the uh, brook. All right, anyway, so far it's kind of rough going here, but this is going to be the logging done up here. You should see if I'm correct, we should see a town boundary marker to West Brim. West Brookfield and New Braintree, somewhere. Possibly some old colonial bridges. Well, I'm not sure about that. So, we are gonna keep walking. This looks like maybe a little dinner. Well, it was a town road, and it just continued. Uh, according to the website, 50 years ago. So, or 50 years from when that information was written. But it certainly looks like it was a town road. I don't put anything down in the woods. Pretty thick over there. Pretty thick up there. Just a big rock. Hmm. Maybe another one of those that will come back when there ain't no leaves out. All right, anyway, I'm going to keep walking. You know, keep the, the clearing up here so I'll keep you on to then. And we'll. What we can see, it certainly has the characteristics of having been an old road, not just a logging road. Look at some more once we get up here. And you can tell there's been a lot of logging and stuff, so now. If we, where we were, where we just got out to start this trail, we came down Madden Road, which supposedly, we have a wall. Supposedly that was the first, or you know, the same road, and the tree bay path went along there. And then that would have taken us to that trail we were on the last time with the Blue, yellow, green, orange, purple dots. Different colored dots we saw. But supposedly that was the um, trail as well. So this would have connected through there somehow. I don't know how. Uh, it doesn't look like the trail continued on the other side. Bad Road connects to Shea Road. And I don't know on the other side of Shea Road if that was actually a trail or not. 
because I decided to turn up here first. Well, it's the only way out. But anyway, a little more foresty, forestry, foresty, wooded. How's that? Here. Oh, stay up here, Jack. Let me see. Nope, come on. Well, we've got a little wall here. Looks like it was uh, semi improved over there. Let's just keep going. Keep walking. And as soon as I see something, I will uh, put you back on. There's a field up there. Something metal. Some type. Hmm. Alright, so we'll keep moving and be back. A little wash out here, we just had to go around. Even it's very muddy. Um, I can't tell. I was looking to see if there might have been a old colonial bridge there. But there is a trail that goes around. Obviously, it's, it's used by <coughs> ATVs and dirt bikes and whatever. All right, so we're going to continue straight ahead. See what else we come to. And by the way, there's a wall on each side of us now. Pretty overgrown. <coughs> Hasn't been attempted to in a while. It's kind of falling down, but it's there. It's interesting, huh? Very interesting. <coughs> I'm assuming it has to be pretty old. All right. Turn off again, we'll keep going. We just come to a fork in a trail. You can't tell if that's an old road going up there or if that's just from the dirt bikes. But we're gonna keep going straight. And obviously this land's been not farmed for quite some time, I would think. Not even logs in a while. It's pretty overgrown. Well, there was some type of a even pastures. Not in the uh, other oh, crop fields. So it's pretty bad, I suppose. Yep, they got the stream bed. So it's dry. Not quite as dry, but not quite as uh, money as the other one. Filled in with rocks. Could have been a bridge, I suppose. Get a drink. That water's sort of clean. Alright, we're gonna keep going. See what we come across. Alright. Just did a climb. Come to this here. That wall. And it ends there. There's quite a few stones piled up. It does not cross the trail, but the other wall is still going. So, I'm not sure exactly uh, what that is. I'd be uh, very surprised if I don't come across the foundation. It kind of looks like the wall continues back over here. So. It didn't look like there was a road going down there. Anyway, the hill to the right, which you can't really see, is called Wattleberry Hill. Let's look at my map. How clean it is down there. Uh, whether we're going to go to the end or not, I don't know. It's pretty hot. But. It does come out on Pierce Road, which is, I think I said in the first little section of the video, that's where we first went to see if we could find the trail and it was all posted. Trespassing, blah, blah, blah. So that's where we turned around and went to the other place. But looking at the map, 
this will take us there. Let's see what's over here. Ravine type thing. It's almost deep. Sounds like there's a stream going through there. Still haven't seen any uh, colonial bridges or the town boundary marker. Another thing like in that uh, Bay Pass book I've been reading. There are a lot of descriptions of where they've mar made marks for the town boundaries. Probably there are too many of them left. There's a couple that said stone markers, but most of them, you know, they put a initial in the tree somewhere. Since that was over 400 years ago, uh, I'm pretty sure that those trees are gone. But we have could have possibly been a bridge. I believe it is. Come here, Jack. Let's just look at this from this end. Yep. So this is our first colonial bridge. Now come on. You can go down there if you want to break. No, so, that comes through here, went through there, in this side, out the other. All right, so maybe we're gonna to come to the town boundary pretty soon. We will soon find out. We'll be back. All right, we just passed that little colonial bridge, we've come to this very uh, proper break here in the wall. And down the trail a little bit. See what might be in here. I think we're not going too far. Let's bowl it over there. It doesn't look like there's a road. It could have just been a cow path. Not seeing anything. the wall. All right, Jack. Let's go across the wall. Yes. Very nice area around here. All right, I think that's it. Let's keep going, but I don't want to get going too far. Like I said, it'd be a good trip in the late fall, early spring, late winter. Early winter, and there's no trees, it's not green. But I would be very surprised if there wasn't a, somewhere in here there was a foundation. All right, let's go back this way, Jack. I have a feeling this trail might just kind of curl. We're in the wayward wagon with Whirl. Uh, might just kind of loop around and come out on the road. We'll keep heading on the road and we'll come back. Well, we'll come back when we find well, Let's get a bit of a look at the brake. See there yeah, now. All right, we'll be back. We're still going up, but see this wall, very nice, well built. And the wall on the other side is gone. So, not sure what's going on up here. I've not passed the town boundary rocket yet. So I have a feeling we don't have much further to go before we hit the uh, no trespassing signs. Whoop, there you go. An old fender or something. Interesting. Let 
You think it's hard to tell? Oh, this, this definitely was a probably a fairly well used road. Now it's a lot of ruts and stuff from MTVs and the like. So uh, hard to tell. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't. Know. Okay. Trying to tell what's caused a lot of this, what kind of shape the road was in, is what I'm trying to say before. Oh, it was abandoned. Because I have to wonder why they were abandoned. Bro, they just didn't want to take care of it anymore, I guess. It also looks like we're coming up to a no trespassing sign up there, so. But, so I said, I suppose there's a a line of stones on this side, but maybe that side. Maybe that would just use logging. Look like crazy dog again. Going around the middle of the trail. So my wife wonders why you can swim full of ticks. Alright, I keep walking, look up to that orange sign up there. Maybe we'll see the maybe we'll see the um town marker. I don't know. We'll be back. Yeah, we just come to a pretty high cross wall. It's going off that way. This wall's still over here. There was a a break in it, but there was no road or nothing up that way. And I can see this road is uh, well, the old wall, the wall was either on the other side of the uh, down that way was. If we're coming to the town line or not. And the orange sign, I thought I saw was some dead branches, orange leaves. But anyway, I'm not sure how much farther we're going to go. Well, you can definitely tell this was a road, the right width. Uh, we traveled. Another cross wall. You know, getting into somebody's extensive farmland. And you can tell these walls are just tossed walls, they call them. They just didn't really put too much effort into them. Another break. I'm thinking they're probably pastures. I don't think the little break here. I don't think they're near the American uh, stone rose. Although who knows? Anyway, a little further up. And uh, check the map, see where we are, how far we got to go. Maybe we'll turn around. We'll be back. Well, two things. I'm not sure if we're actually at the end of the road. It does go that way. But over here we have a foundation. Uh, there's a little part of a stove on the rock right there. See the small foundation, chimney stack right in front of us on the other side. I'm not going to go in there, but... We have found the house. Maybe there would be. But there's a barn somewhere. So we're going to go up here a little bit longer. I mean, obviously this trail's been cut to the wall. We're not quite to the post of land. It looks like a long road going up this way. Could have been. So let's go down here a little bit. And Falling along the road. There's a new barn foundation. I'll see one. And downhill a little bit. And that's definitely, uh, this is this last section, it's definitely a classic colonial road. There's no question about that. In a long time. Uh, 
down here. Let's pop back up to the road. I don't know why the trail continues to be that way, but a side trail. Oh, this way, Jack. I haven't seen the town boundary, but now I don't know if it's going to be in that section or not. Alright, I'll shut you off. We just come to another cellar hole. This one's not quite as pronounced. Uh, we're on the way back, by the way. And this is not too far from, you know, we can see that wall over there. Meets up with that wall. We came up to that junction a little further up, but you can see this was definitely a cellar hole. Stacked rock here. Probably the chimney kind of in the middle. Take a walk around and see what else we might find here. Let's see what. Yeah, anyway, let's come back here when the ground cover's gone. Oops, look, a frying pan, something. Come here, Jack, hold on. Not a pan, it's oh, a rock. <laughs> All right, I'll be okay. Yeah, there's a, when the sun was hitting it, it looked like something metal, iron. Come on, Jack. Stack is probably right there. Not seeing any well. It's hard to see anything. And we're back to the road. Really. So Cellar holes. I don't know if this pile of plastic in there. I don't know if there's any dumps up there, I think. Alright, so, so we're gonna heading back. It was about a mile and a quarter to where we turned around. Uh, I'm starting to go downhill, and he's tired, I'm tired, so I don't feel like having to come back up the hill. Alright, All right, turn you off. We we'll see anything else. Seeing us again. All right, we're just about down to the end, and about two and a half miles round trip. You see, we're coming to the the uh, logged part. And I have to say, well. Kind of sketchy at the beginning but this has turned out to be probably one of my coolest hikes i've been on because it is an old definitely an old colonial road that i not even any question so a couple of old foundations colonial foundations uh so we know this is a colonial road it's about uh After something, I don't know what. But anyway, uh, probably looks like there's a junction on the wall there too. Let's see that. Uh, where was I? Anyway, it's probably like one of the coolest roads I've been on Just because I know the history, so I know that it is the old Bay Path. Um, and this is pretty awesome, especially once we get past this section we're in here. Uh, so, I only saw 
at least two colonial bridges and possibly a third. So that's always cool. And I guess that's about it. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, stick around for another video. Our next video. I'm going to try to find some more sections of this if I can. Uh, I know a lot of the bay path has been turned into actual highways and, and the like. Come on, Jack. So, I don't know if I'll do one from driving along in the truck, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, come on. Thanks for joining us. Get outside, find some old Indian trails to follow on your own. Very happy you did. This is the Wayward Walker and the Wayward Wolfer. Signing off.